So you can uh, see that's been outside just for a couple of seconds and we're starting to have a pretty good reaction. Uh, so we're going to probably process that separate. We'll see. This one's starting to take off too. So we'll come back to it in a little while. I'm going to work around the garage here and clean up. Got a couple other little things to tinker around on. So the powder is gone and uh, we're going to let that cook down a little bit to boil off any excess nitric. Um, man, that's looking good. And these foils uh, that were in there that were left over are they're going away too, man. We're looks like we'll be dropping today and combining. Here we are filtering the gold out and uh, we're going to dilute it and drop it that ferrous sulfate. It's going through the filter pretty well. I'm not having enough. I need to vacuum filter it right now, but we'll probably turn that on in a little while. Um, and uh, that's what we have. All right, so we're a uh, vacuum filter and look at that color. So uh, we all love that color, right? So we're going to drop it soon with the ferrous sulfate. Uh, the part everyone loves. Peekaboo. So we're diluting, we're cleaning out the beaker, we're cleaning out that, note the catch pan here in case we spill any to collect. Um, it's been filtered twice and we're going to try and drop today, but I want to get rid of some excess nitric. So we're going to put a little bit of sulfamic acid in it and we got a little bit of a reaction. So we got a little bit of nitric in there. I'd say we have a little bit too much. And I gotta tighten up on that. We wanna get rid of this so we don't dissolve the gold back into solution. So uh, that's why we use the sulfmatic acid instead of urea. Let's just try one more, just a little bit more. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, excess nitric taken care of. Time for our favorite ferrous sulfite. We're even gonna use a new spoon. Okay. Brought to you by Cha-ching. Not really, but I thought I'd throw that out there for a little humor today. So, here we are with the ferrous sulfate. Look at that. I'm gonna put this on heat. We'll come back to it and look at that great gold. This is the second drop, by the way. Um, so we'll clean that up and store that. It really sticks to the spoons. But we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Thanks. So we're, uh, boiling away the ferrous sulfate solution and uh, I'm not even going to give that a stannous test. I'm going to just put that straight into my temporary stock pot 
you can see the gold is collecting um, kind of in one mass. We'll see what it looks like. I'm probably going to do a couple of hydrochloric acid boils, wash, and then ammonia, and then tuck it away and uh, try and refine some of these pens and just put it all together and then melt it into one button instead of melting it now and getting like maybe half a gram, maybe a gram, I don't know. It always looks like more than it really is. So there's it. And uh, right here was a little bit of the paper and some foil left over that I had put into Aqua Regia and uh, just trying to get that last little bit. We'll probably strain and drop that too. But uh, don't expect a lot out of that. All right, so we're boiling here in hydrochloric acid. I'm gonna turn it off. And uh, we're going to uh, start finding. I might even melt this little thing into a button today just to see. Kind of wishy-washy. So we've uh, given this a hydrochloric acid foil, and I'm going to pour this into my used hydrochloric acid container for removing solder off pens. And we're going to give it a good old rinse. And uh, see what goes from there. This is uh, then dissolved in aqua regia three times, and we're filtering out the last of it. And uh, we're going to drop it and call it a day. So, this is the gold. It's been dropped three times. It has been boiled in hydrochloric acid. We're going to boil it in water then ammonia, then water, and we're going to melt this up and have some results. This is the gold uh, that has been dropped three times, rinsed, boiled in hydrochloric acid, ammonia wash, and now the final moment we've been waiting for. I'm going to take this outside and show you because this just doesn't do it justice. Look at that. It's a cloudy day today, but that really looks good. I'm gonna keep it a little damp to keep the powders from blowing all over the place, and we're gonna roll with it. That looks beautiful. I really regret not drying that powder out. It popped with the moisture in it. We did lose a little, but that's, I guess you call it a lesson learned. So we're going to uh, hope we can flux that impurities out. Some already stuck to the side. And we're gonna go for it. That really looks nice.
really regret not driving. Man, I cannot tell you how excited I am. Uh, two and a half grams. There was a poof. Uh, man, lessons learned. But that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I was expecting like half a gram. Uh, that is really not bad. It needs a little bit of cleaning up. I had some issues with it. Uh, I dropped it in a shot and didn't like the way it looked, so I did a little button. And I need to clean it up, but that's enough to keep it together. 2.58.